Hello there, Pisces. How's it going, you guys? Time for your reading. <laughs> My name is Kelly. I'll be doing the read here. Let's get right into it. I smudged everything. I got it really smoky in here, actually. So anyway, let's get let's get right into it. What's going on here with Pisces? Hope you guys are having a good day, afternoon, or whenever you're watching me. We got uh, Nathis. Hmm. Nathis is a lacking of. Yeah. So this is talking about some sort of lack. You know, it can also mean learning too. Can't really tell what this what what this is talking about. You know, Pisces. Tiwaz. Tiwaz. Tiwaz is victory and success. This is forward movement. Um, yeah, very positive. It's making me wonder what Nathis over here is talking about. Hmm. Come on here with Pisces. Righto. Righto. Hmm. So maybe some of you are uh, going to be uh, traveling. This is a, this rune talks about travel. So, you know, Pisces, maybe some of you are traveling. Um, if you're not traveling, this is, uh, this is forward movement, you know, in your life, right? But if you have to travel, I mean, now's a good time to travel for sure. Yeah. Especially when it's in the upright. <laughs> What's going on here with Pisces? So then we have Onzus. Hmm. So now Onzus is... Uh, some sort of communication. You're going to have some sort of communication coming in, uh, Pisces. Anzus is, uh, it's usually uh, word of mouth. It usually is someone coming to you in person or it's somebody that is calling you on the phone. But it's some sort of uh, communication. It could have to do with with your work um yeah it could have so something to do with that but it, whatever it is i don't know what the news is it, it could be any kind of you know generally Anzus is talking about you know it's a good thing if you're if you're looking for a job or something this is a very very good sign that you're going to get the job but Anzus is all kinds of communication, so it doesn't necessarily pertain to um, to a job or anything like that, but it is some sort of news that is coming to you. So then we have Othala. Wow. Hmm. And there's that Othala again, you know, Pisces. We keep getting this, uh, we keep getting Othala, you know. Othala here, Othala there. Um, but, you know, uh, Pisces, Othala is talking about something with the family, you know. Um, this could be uh, arguments within the family over some sort of lacking. You know, Othala actually in the upright 
actually Othala period it means inheritance so it's something from the family when it's in reverse it could be some sort of a dispute within the family um, over some sort of locking Looks to me like you're going to be coming out on top here, whatever the deal is, Pisces. You got t -wise right there. Um, hmm. Maybe it's just a, maybe it's just a, um, I'm really concentrating on this here. Maybe it's just a, a family member that is lacking something and they're unhappy because of it. Could be that too. The thing about the runes is, guys, it's it it splits off in so many different ways for different people, for it, different individuals. I mean, for some that's true. For others, maybe it's um, something else. But these runes, they don't mean just one thing. Sometimes they mean, I guess the best way I can describe it is, uh, sometimes they mean, you know, two or three different things simultaneously. Yeah. What's going on here with Pisces? So we have uh, the blank rune. Wow, okay, hmm. Can't really say much about the blank room. What's going on with Pisces? Thoracicus. Hmm. And this is in the upright, so this is Taurus energy. Um, yeah. Hmm. What else is going on here with, with Pisces? It's interesting. Anzus. Mm, Anzus. This is a liar. You know, when I see Pisces, when I see Anzus in reverse like that, I think somebody straight up lied to you. That's a straight up liar, and they ain't got nothing to say, because there it is. They ain't got nothing to say except the lie. They're lying over some sort of a tricky situation. What is going on here with Pisces? If they're not lying, then they sure are uh, um, misled big time. <laughs> What's going on with Pisces? Soilo, the sun. You know, my first instinct is usually, you know, correct. You know, I think somebody just straight up is a liar and they're gonna get caught. Look, they got the sun right there. This is somebody that uh, that tried to that tried to keep something uh, from you here, keep you lacking. Some 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 liar. Yeah, but they're gonna get caught. Yeah, they're gonna get caught. Hmm. I mean, the sun is usually a really good rune, but when it's kind of like, when it's shining down on Nathis, Nathis is lacking. This is your energy here is shining on that. This person lied about something to keep you lacking something. All right. And, uh, but you're going to find something out here, Pisces. You got uh, on Zeus right here. All right. That's some sort of communication coming in. Um, 
I don't know if it's going to be from this person, but uh, whoever it is that you're dealing with, uh, Pisces, uh, use your intuition because, you know, I don't trust liars. Once people, once somebody lies to me, I kind of like their trust is broke with me, you know. Um, yeah. I mean, I don't think I can ever really trust somebody ever again totally fully if they lie to me. Yeah. I don't like liars, man. <laughs> no, 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 no. Especially when they... Especially... Especially people that lie just just in spite, just because they're selfish, you know, twisted, narcissistic individuals. Hmm. What's going on with Pisces? All right, you got the eight of wands. So yeah, this is this is communication. Just like I say right here, this is communication as well. You're going to be getting some sort of communication, all right? So what's the bottom line here for Pisces? What's the bottom line? Transition. The death card. So this is this is good news. This is your victory right here, Pisces. This is moving into uh, into uh, moving away from uh, you know moving away from this dark area that you've been in that you've been kept in, and moving out towards the sun. See the sun up here. Yeah. So, yeah, you're going to be getting some sort of good news uh, for sure. Don't know exactly what it's going to be involving, but um, just watch yourself around. You know, you're going to be able to you're going to be able to see who this liar is and everybody else. Actually, everybody else is going to be able to see who that liar is, too, which is kind of like awesome. <laughs> All right. And I hope that's not a family member. I do see family member right there. You know, it's kind of messed up if you, you know, um, yeah, I don't know. I hope that's not, I hope that's a separate person. What's going on with Pisces? These are, by the way, if you're new, these are called the Awarm Runes. These are um, uh, individual um pieces of wood that are different trees so like this could be an apple tree and this could be like an oak tree etc and it's an alphabet and a language and they come from ancient ireland before they called it ireland so what's going on here with pisces what do the trees have to say for us Well, let's see what that one's talking about. Let me see how many that has on there. One, two, yeah, that's five. So the name of this particular rune here, Pisces, is called Arwish. And this is a piece of the elder tree. And our wish comes forward to speak to us about transformation, release, regeneration. She reminds us that we are all part and players of an inexorable cycle of life. Arish asks that we balance our scales and restore equilibrium to our lives. Mistakes must be corrected and wrongs rightened, lest they be found out and led to shame and embarrassment. There's the sun right there you know, shining down on their lie. <laughs> she reminds us that redemption and forgiveness are always possible. 
Our wish encourages us to cool our tempers and release any resentment we may be holding. She encourages us to embrace our shadow selves and find peace within our darkness. Our wish is also a reminder that our ancestors are always with us, ready to provide guidance if we only ask. All right, so yeah, that, there we go. So anyway, somebody said my uh, voice sounded like I was sick or something. No, I'm, I'm not sick, you guys. I'm fine. I don't know. Uh, somebody else told me that uh, my, my voice sounded different too. I don't know. Maybe it's just part of this change that everybody's going through. Who knows? Maybe my voice is changing a little bit. <laughs> Pretty soon I'll have an old man voice. <laughs> Oops, sorry there, Pisces. I'm dropping cards everywhere. <laughs> All right, so let's see what's going on here with Pisces. Look at the bigger picture. Full moon in Sagittarius. Look at the bigger picture. That's awesome. So there you have it, Pisces. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you haven't already, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys again tomorrow. All right, Pisces. See you again tomorrow. Bye for now.